mumbly peg. That was the main thing I did with this knife. You see, this knife was one that I had as a kid. I got it when I was about 12 or 13 years old. A couple weeks ago, I was back up in Canada visiting my parents and rummaging around looking for things that maybe I could restore that I had left in my parents' place as a kid, I came across this knife. It was in my dad's toolbox. It had been neglected for quite a while. In fact, rarely used, I'm sure, since I was probably 15 or 16. The sheath was one that I made in shop class in seventh grade. It's actually not that bad. I'm impressed with the cougar on it. But, mumbly peg. Some of you might be asking, what the heck is mumbly peg? So, at least the way I played it as a kid, it's a game where you use knives. Probably pretty stupid to do, but it was a game that I played with my friends often at scout camps. I hope no scouts are listening, because I don't recommend it. The variant of Mumbly Peg that we played was the stretch version. You stand facing your opponent with your heels, your feet basically side by side together. Opposite you is your opponent. And you take your knife and throw it to stick it in the ground, preferably flipping at least once or more. If it sticks, your opponent then has to stretch till they touch the knife. And the idea is to be able to throw the knife far enough that your opponent can't stretch far enough to span the distance from where one foot is and the other foot is. So this is the version we played. There's other versions that are a little more dangerous. But if you want, you can look them up online. But this was a knife I had. I felt cool when I wore it around. Felt strong and powerful. <laughs> it was a fun knife. And it's in bad shape. I felt like it was time to clean it up, update it. I actually never really liked the camouflage coloring. So this is an opportunity to um, give it the look I wanted as a 13-year-old boy. And who could resist using a sandblaster on this? Even, even on the blade, which probably wasn't needed because, well, you'll see. But it's kind of hard to resist. Also, some of those little nooks in the saw portion of the blade. Sandblaster is probably the easiest way to clean it out. Now, this blade also isn't really anything special. In fact, the knife really isn't anything special, but to a 13-year-old boy, this thing was very special. It came with a survival kit on the inside. It's a survival knife. I, I know that there were some fish hooks in there. Not sure what else. I'm sure there was a few other random survival things, maybe some matches or something like that. I think there was a, a saw or something in there too that used like keychains or things like that. But the steel really isn't that great. I did notice while it was in the sandblaster that uh, it was putting off some little sparks, probably from, from carbon in the blade, which is encouraging. Although the blade is pretty soft.
I'm sure this guard saved my hand several times from slipping onto the blade. Now, this Rust-Oleum paint, I got it on sale, so that sticker was kind of covering up the name a bit, but it's a nice matte black finish, which is what I always wanted on this blade. I wanted it to look more tactical. And so, right now, I'm channeling my inner 13-year-old and sticking with just matte black so that when I'm in the dark, no one can see my knife. It'll help me survive better, probably. Something like that. Now this is one of the weak points in the knife. It often came unscrewed. And it was, wasn't the easiest thing to attach all the time. You needed to stick a socket deep down into the knife to be able to attach it. So I'm hoping this Loctite will hold it on better. I guess it's not Loctite, but you know. Hoping this will hold it better. Got to balance that washer just right. I remember doing this as a kid too every time I took it apart. Now, the compass that was in there, like you could see before, was pretty destroyed. I looked online looking for some compasses. There's quite a few of these pin compasses. I wanted one that was better than just the cheapo one, so I went with the Brunton one. I was hoping this little plastic clip would be easy to come off. I actually filmed sawing it off, but the, or at least I thought I filmed it. I hadn't. So you get the after look. It was a snug fit, a little tighter than the original because of that the cap didn't screw down all the way, but it is on there nice and snug. I like the green or the yellowish look. Now, now to the extra survival items. I actually had several items I wanted to stick in here. Most of them would have fit by themselves, but I had to be selective with what I put in there. I wanted those fishing things. I wanted some duct tape, a way to start a fire. The duct tape roll. And the little spark thing there didn't fit, so I decided to wrap the spark igniter in the duct tape, which I think is pretty clever. Probably better than the two separate. With that, the fish line, the hooks, some safety pins, and then one cotton ball are the survival items you'll find in this newly refurbished survival knife in tactical black. I think it looks better in the sheath than the camo did. This was the, the knife and sheath that I wanted as a 13 year old. Got my initials and a cougar. All that was left to do now is to sharpen it. I tried to convince my oldest son this afternoon, actually, that uh, we should go play some mumbly peg with this. He had his girlfriend over and they decided that 
they didn't really want to. But it's probably for the best. Probably would have scuffed up my new paint job which is probably why the old one was all scuffed up. The blade was in pretty bad shape also. Lots of little dings and nicks. Probably from lots of little rocks. I did use it for other things, but um, primary use actually was Bumbly Peg at scout camps. I take the compass off, we take all the survival stuff out, and we'd see how many flips we could do. All kinds of things. It was a popular knife. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.